Have you been stood up by somebody and you want to know what should I do? Should I address it with him or her? Or should I just leave it to rest and not express how I'm really feeling? How do I handle this situation with somebody that I really do like, but I don't want to scare them off by expressing how I really feel or letting them know that I feel disappointed or disrespected by their actions? All of us have had a situation where we've just gotten into a new relationship or we're dating somebody and the other person does something that hurts us or does something that we don't like and straight away we get a feeling that we don't like it but we're too afraid to express it and we don't know and we go looking externally for the answers we ask for people's opinions as to whether or not we should address it or should we just let it slide in this video i'm going to tell you how you can handle this situation and in my opinion the best way to handle it and not lose out on the person but still express your needs and your feelings my weekly viewers, thank you so much for your support. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Alicia Workman. I'm a studying life coach and I focus my videos around self-love, dating, relationships, and much more. This video came about because I saw a post on Facebook from a lady that was going on a date. And the date was supposed to be at 5 p.m. And two minutes, only two minutes before her date at 4.58 p.m., she received a text message from the guy that she was going on a date with. And he said, I'm really sorry, I've lost track of time. I've been on a motorbike ride. I'm going to be another 40 minutes and I will be late to my date. Her Facebook post was essentially seeking advice. She was asking, what should I do in this situation? How do I handle it? And what should I say back to him? Should I still wait and go on this date with him or should I just forget him and move on? The first thing that I want to say when something like this happens to us is we generally react in one of two ways. The first way is we express with anger and we go back to them straight away with that first feeling that we feel we have and we let them know in an attackful way what they've done, how disrespectful they are and usually speaking this actually will then turn that person off and if there is any chance of something happening between the two of you or for them to correct their behaviour, this one will push them away and it won't get you the result you want. Or the second thing that happens which also doesn't get you the result you want is we don't express it and we don't let them know what they've done to upset us. Now, if we go with this second option which is the one that sort of makes us feel a little bit safe and we think oh I won't let them know because I don't want to push them away and I don't want to scare them but by doing that we are reinforcing their behavior we don't express it and this happens again resentment will build up inside you when something goes on for us we have one of two options either we express it and we let them know or two we don't express it but we have to continually put up with it. this may not happen in your situation but this can happen happen. So we generally do one of these two things. First thing that I want to tell you to do is you have to express how you're feeling. Before going on and writing to this person or texting them and letting them know what they've done, I suggest you to take a minute of silent time and work out what it is exactly that you're feeling. What has this triggered inside you? Do you feel rejected? Do you feel sad? If your first feeling that you have is anger, I want you to dig a little bit deeper and work out what is underneath this anger. Anger. Generally speaking, when anger is the feeling that we feel straight away, there's always an underlying issue to that and a vulnerable feeling. A vulnerable feeling could be sadness, rejection, doubt in yourself, not feeling good enough. Try and dig for the real feeling that it triggers within you. Once you've figured out what your feeling is, the next thing to do is to get ready to speak to the person and let them know. The first thing to do when you speak to this person is come into it with an observation and an understanding point of view. For example, today at five o'clock, I know we were having a date and I was so excited to go on this date with you and I can see that you're running late and that you won't be able to make it on time. The second thing to do is to say how excited you were or how happy you were going to be to see them or how much you were looking forward to getting an ice cream or whatever it is you were doing on your date. The third thing you need to do is you need to express your feeling and it can sound something like this. Today I was so hurt that you couldn't make it to our date and I was so excited and looking forward to it that now I feel so shattered that this couldn't happen. And the fourth thing that you need to do is you need to express your need and your want. 
This can sound something like this. This to work between us, I really need a man who is able to show up to our dates and be there when he says he's going to be there. I really need somebody committed who can stick to their word. And now the last step that you're going to do is you're going to let them know what you're doing with this current situation. For this moment, it could be, unfortunately, I was really excited for this date, but I have to go now and I need to go and do something else with my time. And I, I don't want to waste my afternoon waiting around. So unfortunately, this won't work out between the two of us today. I'm really upset about that, but I also don't want to waste my time and I don't have the afternoon to wait for him to come back to you. If this is a guy that's serious about you or even a woman that's serious about you, they will come back to you and try and make it up to you. Because you have now expressed this standard, I would say to you that this person will most likely be able to follow your standard. But if they don't do that, then you know the next time around, if they can't match it up, that is when you can make your final call on this person. I do believe in giving somebody a chance, but it's about how many chances do we give. We do want to be fair and reasonable. We want to let them know how we feel and what our standard is. Give them a chance to be able to meet that standard if they come back to you when they want to do that. And if they don't, or they do it again, or they do something similar that you're not happy with, that is when you can make that call and ask yourself, am I going to be happy in this situation? Is this person going to give me what I need? Are they following what it is that I'm needing from them? Them, and also check in with yourself about how you're communicating it. Even in relationships, how we communicate something gets us the result. So sometimes we think that we've communicated something to somebody, they don't get it, so it's all their fault. But we also do need to check in with ourselves and ask, how are we communicating this to somebody? How have we gotten the message across to them? And is it in a way that is fair, reasonable, soft, but still assertive? If you implement this in your dating or in your love life, let me know. I'd love to hear how this goes and see you again in my next video.